Hi all, this is Param. Um, in this series of video, in this playlist, we are seeing like what are the machine learning features available in the Elasticsearch. In the previous video, we have seen there are four type of machine learning are available, or four type of task or machine, four type of algorithms, whatever you want. Okay, so for four, four type of uh, task, whatever you want. Okay, so I, I I have explained very well. Okay, in in the in the previous video. Okay, whoever want to see uh, what are the uh, what are the type of machine learning are supported in the Elasticsearch and how they have been classified, why they have been classified. Okay, all the things are explained in the previous video. You can check on that. Okay, now in this video we will see about anomaly detections. Okay, it's about it's it's play, uh, plainly again going to be an detection about the anomaly detections. Okay. So, anomaly detections means uh, we have seen all the data, I mean all, all the details like uh, time series data okay, um, and it is unsupervised learning, okay, everything that is fine. Okay, then what, are, what is anomaly detection? Then what is anomaly in fact? Okay, yeah, see we know the baselines, okay, something is different from the baselines, okay, we will call it anomaly, that is it. See, let us see, see very simple, okay. Um, Every day we are getting mails, okay. But today, if you are not getting any mails, then obviously there is anomaly, right? Or every day, we, we, every, every day, okay, uh, the OS will get update, okay. But today is not getting update, then, then there is anomaly. Or every day, a particular user will be logged in that uh, VDA, okay. But, but it is not happened in the past two days, then it is anomaly, right? So, so, to say something is anomaly, to say some event is anomaly, we should know what is the baseline. Okay, so this is a this is a usual behavior. Okay, this is a usual behavior. That is what we say as a baseline. Okay, so for the baselines, it has to be designed. It, it has to be de uh, defined and identified, and it has to be updated. That's why we are going for machine learning. Okay, if it is a baseline, is very fixed. Okay, your baseline is very very uh, is fixed all the time. Then you can go for virtual itself. Okay, there you can put your baseline whatever you want in the condition, and uh, you can execute. Okay. The baseline also has to be updated by adding new data or it has to be keep on learned based on the data. So, that is why we are coming for machine learning, okay. That is one reason why we are coming for machine learning rather than watcher to find the anomaly detection, okay. Second thing is, okay, by the anomaly detections, what exactly we will do, okay. What exactly we will do, okay. There are three things, okay. So, one is temporal analyst uh, anomaly detection. What is temporal, of course? Temporary something, temporary something is happening, okay. Uh, Let us say uh, the count should be 8. Now the count is more, or a value is, is unique. Okay, usually all usually see human age should be below 100, right? Now various obviously is below 100. Okay, okay, it cannot be it it it, um, uh, it, it cannot be beyond the 100, right? So if the value is uh, age is uh, 100 plus, then it is anomaly, right? Uh, similarly, okay, mm, so data birth is after 80, but uh, if you are saying 100 is uh, you have, age is 100, okay, then that is anomaly, right? Okay, so that's what. So that, that, that is anomaly in the value. Okay, that is anomaly in the value. That, that, that's what. So temporal value change or any frequency change. That's what I told you. Na. So I say today I, every day I am getting minimum five five mails or six mails. Okay, minimum or minimum three to five mails. Okay, something. So uh, that is that is that is the frequency of receiving mail. Then that is not happening. Okay. So that is that's what. So this kind of temporal changes. So okay, so just just a temporary uh, some changes happened. Okay. So then we call it as anomaly. Okay. That is for temporal anomaly detections. Okay, so in this, uh, when you can do, where you can do uh, temporal anomaly detection means, see the cardinality is minimal. Okay, so cardinality is minimal. So cardinality means number of unique value, right? That's what number of unique value. That's what cardinality. So cardinality is minimum. Okay, uh, and if it is the case, we will be. This is a technical. We, I will explain later. Okay, you don't you don't need to worry about this. What is by field name and the partition field names? Okay. Okay, so this is a temper and okay. I think I have to explain here this one. Okay, rather than here, let me go in this one. Okay, so one is temporarily deviation. Okay, in the value or count frequency, then statistical rarity. Okay, statistical to see actually average average of a human life or average average of something. Okay, uh, so, some statistical values. Okay, and it's a, it's a change. Okay. Uh, so usually I'll say uh, average age is obviously 60, okay. But suddenly it will become 30 means that is in, uh, it is here. Uh, um, uh, this is the anomaly, okay. Something's happened, okay. That is what. Or unusual behavior of member of a per population. Population means nothing. Uh, 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 it is not people population, okay. So let's say we have we, we, we are we are having group of data, okay. 
uh, group of data among them only one or two data is not usual one or two data is not, is, is is unusual in fact okay? it is unusual behavior okay then uh, okay then that is the, the, that is the then that things as anomaly okay so these are the things these are the principle we can say in fact okay these are the principle or these are the uh, goal or whatever you can say okay these are the uh, law something okay or ideas so by using these are the la la last ideas we we will we will identify this is anomaly okay so it can be a temporal changes it can be a statistical changes or it can be unusual behavior of member of populations okay so these are the uh, laws or principle you can say okay to identify the um, to identify the anomaly detections okay <coughs> okay so uh, so there are there are a lot of way it seems okay there are a lot of way it seems okay uh, and here are the some of the techniques okay so technique used by the elastic search to identify the anomaly detections technically okay see th this is a theory this is the uh, principle okay how it has been achieved using this clustering technique or bison distribution modeling or various type of time series decomposition okay you can decompose your time series data then accordingly you can define your baseline then if this miss, miss if it is uh, deviate something then you can call it an anomaly right or a correlation analysis okay so these are the four technique as of now in the elastic search supported okay i used sorry we can say supported it is used by the anomaly detections okay these are the four technique maybe it's an internal in fact i would say it is completely internal okay uh, but technically these are the four uh, four techniques they are using uh, in the implementation so to identify the anomaly detections okay if down the line they may introduce some other technique also to identify the anomaly detections okay uh, obviously what is the clustering bison distributions uh, time series decomposition and the correlation analysis these are the four technique um, it in fact they they uh, they identify they identify many i mean there, there can be a lot of a lot of algorithm a lot of methods there so i think they 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 uh, they think these are the four is best enough okay okay say let's say uh, today you know anomaly detection available on the apm data and the cm data okay if you want something else then they may need some other technique here let's say uh, let's say in one of my use cases okay, also, okay i will pull the data every 10 minutes okay i will get the data for every 10 minutes okay it could be one or data or uh, many data okay that's fine but i will get document or event uh, for every 10 minutes only then for that case i cannot apply anomaly detection here okay maybe i can try with the equal what is it even query language okay or i can try with uh, watcher okay okay but uh, equal uh, and the watcher are static okay it will not learn them themselves okay so if it is something new then it has to be changed that okay uh, let's say uh, what i am saying now exactly the, the order of the query or sequence of the query or threshold values is fixed okay so if something is new also has to be adjusted has to be adapted yeah that's why they will adapt the right word adapted okay and then we have to go for machine learning that is what machine learning okay so it, it's uh, the decision itself keep on changing so keep on learning based on the new arrival of new data new changes something okay so these are the techniques uh, let's say uh, okay when they introduce new uh, new techniques obviously uh, they may support other type of data as well other type of on other type of data as well you can identify the anomaly that's what i'm saying okay as of now only these four type of techniques are in, uh, 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 used okay or followed okay so that is what i want to explain you okay so what are the uh, techniques okay te te technically uh, te te techniques are used by the elastic search to identify the anomaly detection so so based on the technique only what type of data can be supported as of now okay as of now people say it's, it's a it is a what it is a uh, time series it, 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 times on time series data only it can support the anomaly detections okay Oh. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. So you know, right? So as I told you in the watcher, I mean, if you want, if you if you have not seen, okay, you can check the my watcher play playlist. Okay, there I have explained. Okay, watcher also kind of anomaly detection, but it is fixed. That's it. So if you want to that uh, threshold, is keep on update based on the data uh, data progress or okay, data changes. Okay, then I wish to go for I have to go for machine learning. Okay, I have to go. That that is where machine learning comes. The threshold or uh, deviation or anomalies is fixed means we can uh, restrict ourselves with the watcher itself that's enough watcher or equal or even to query language these two is enough but since we want to adapt the new changes as well as a baseline yes we want to adapt the new changes also as a baseline not uh, anomaly okay new changes also as uh, new data as well as a baseline okay the baseline has to be changed itself so that's why we are going for machine learning in fact okay thanks thanks for watching i hope you will enjoy this content because of i have explained what are the techniques followed by the anomaly detections okay
So it because of very simple. See, nowadays see, there are there are a lot of tools are supporting machine learning, right? Not only these tools, okay. Uh, of course, people are uh, day by day uh, developing machine learning. In, uh, so each machine learning uh, so follow or implement uh, different statistical learning, uh, different statistical theory, something like that, okay. So then, uh, um, okay. Then why uh, Elasticsearch you, uh, also adapt to the uh, yeah, why, why Elasticsearch also uh, implement machine learning? Okay, that is matter, right? Okay. And uh, what are the technique? So what are, what are the anomalies? That, what are the and what are the, what are the data it can do the anomaly directions? Okay, so all things are based on the technique only. Okay, so based on the technique only, they can uh, uh, they can uh, use appropriate data or format of data. Okay, or content of uh, or, or, or content uh, to identify the anomaly directions. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Okay, if you like the content, leave the comment, subscribe my channel, share with your friends.